Good evening, this is Bronson's By Any Means Necessary Fantasy uh, Baseball Talk for Wednesday night, July 22nd. Uh, we're now into the second half of the season. We've got a little bit of a framework to work with here for the steamers and the streamers. So I can bring you another video. Um, but first, I don't have a whole lot to say about myself. Uh, so that's probably a good thing. But um, the uh, Seattle Kraken had their expansion draft today, which uh, I was actually excited about. I actually went and watched. Um, I was trying to get up there. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to get a ticket. I know they've been giving away tickets for free in that beautiful park, Gasworks Park there um, in Seattle on Lake Washington. I couldn't figure out how to get a ticket. It would have been cool to go up there since it was my day off today. But uh, I watched it, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for soccer soccer for hockey in the Pacific Northwest and um, I might actually be able to get into hockey now so it's pretty cool I don't I don't know a whole lot about the players that Seattle got but I know that they got Jordan Everly who's been a very successful forward for the Islanders so that's kind of a, a big deal and they got Mark Giordano who's a little older now but uh, was the Norris Trophy winner a couple years ago so they got some good players uh, it's the young guys, the Fleury brothers, to build around. Um, I'm excited for hockey in Seattle, and uh, I'm glad I took the time to watch that expansion draft. But the expansion draft did um, get me kind of like hyped and it's inspired to kind of do a mock expansion draft for the NBA because there's a lot of talk that Seattle can get a team, Las Vegas can get a team, some other cities like Columbus or Nashville, Kansas City good team so if the NBA were to expand to two teams um, given that there's currently 30 teams that would make you know two two teams of 15 players each you could take one player from each team so I'm, I'm currently in the process of working on that actually you know I, I don't know if I'm gonna share the results here or not because I don't think people really care about something completely fake faker than fantasy sports at, in general uh, but I might I might just do it just because uh, you know I do appreciate the followers and the likes and people watching these videos um, and giving me affirmation, whether it's positive or negative. I appreciate all feedback, but uh, really, I do these for me. Uh, so I probably will just share those mock draft, mock expansion draft results. And, um, you know, obviously, it's completely hypothetical, completely just my opinion, like who teams would protect and who they would expose, um, who I would pick. You know all that stuff but i'm going to kind of function off the old expansion draft rules from the charlotte bobcats which was the last nba expansion team to come into the league back, way back in 2004. Uh, they're not even the bobcats anymore they're now the hornets again the pelicans were the hornets for a while now you know whatever those are the home basketball that was happening but so that's kind of the rules i'm sticking with each team can only protect eight players um so I'm going off of last year's rosters, not this year's training camp rosters, which are a little deeper. Um, and I'm also kind of, kind of trying to avoid guys on in free agency who are hitting free agency and um, on two-way contracts, kind of, too. Um, so, I don't know. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of tinkering with it and working with it still, but I'm going to also go by the that there's going to be no salary cap for the expansion team in year one so I don't have to worry about fitting the contracts um, under a certain uh, cap or anything like that so I can just take the players that that I would want if it were me um, so you know that's where we are with that but man I am really I really, I still hate the name Kraken. I think it's stupid. Uh, I really don't like it, but I love the colors. Uh, the Seattle Kraken colors are, are uh, <laughs> pun intended, Kraken. Um, and, um, you know, I, I like the way Seattle's getting into it. Um, I like the, the hype. I like the players from what I know of the players that we took. I like I like the, the, the process, the, you know, the vision. And, um, and I really, and the logos, they're cool. I, I might have to give me some cracking stuff. I'm, 
really digging. I was digging the, I know it's kind of a simple design, but I was digging the anchor, baby blue shirt, baby blue with the anchor. I'm, I'm digging that. I might have to give me that because uh, it like those in the know know that it's the Kraken, but those who aren't in the know would just think it's just a baby blue shirt with an anchor on it, which is you know. So there's multiple purposes there. I think I'm probably gonna end up getting myself something, some merch like that. Um, yeah, but let's get into let's get into the baseball. A couple of some steaming, semi steaming hitters. Warriors really are. I'm really having trouble with the steaming section now because I'm really trying not to repeat players too often. Um, and if I do repeat them, I'd like it to be like you know a month or so later so I'm trying to give you fresh names on a constant basis and it's just like so I apologize if sometimes I'm going pretty deep diving um, into deep sea you know, deep sea fishing here with some of these names but you know I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it fresh so a few outfielders for you we got Guillermo Heredia a former Seattle guy who didn't really work out there now he's the starting center fielder in Atlanta um, over Ender Inciarte. Uh, nothing super special, but he's, he's been decent coming out of the All-Star break. Also, Gregory Polanco, the former hyped prospect of the Pirates. Looks like he might be kind of coming on there. So if you need some outfield help, those are a couple of names to watch. Hunter Dozier of the Royals seems to be coming on a little bit. He provides you positional versatility first, third, and the outfield, I believe. And then Mitch Garver recently just returned from the disabled list for the Twins at catcher. Um, and in his two games he's played, he's looked like the uh, Mitch Garver of two years ago, I think it was, when he finally kind of broke out, um, which I still think that was kind of a fluky year. Um, but the Twins are actually, you know, the Twins might kind of be turning things around here. Um, and they may no longer be sellers at the trade deadline. But if they do, Mitch Garver is a candidate to move. Uh, he could go to a contender that needs some help um, and a, a more uh, able lineup around him, which could really help his counting stats moving forward. So that's something to monitor. Some pitchers to stream for you on Thursday. I've got three for you, barring, you know, um, their dates, getting, games getting postponed or things getting moved around, shuffled around before the game start tomorrow. That's been known to happen. Um, so I apologize if some of these names kind of Get, their start gets pushed to Friday. Uh, as of, you know, 7 p.m. Pacific time when I did this list, which is now an hour later, uh, these are the guys who were slated to start tomorrow's games that I like in the streaming tier. Starting with Luis Patino of Tampa against Cleveland. That should be, should be um, a relatively easy win for the Rays. So if Luis Patino can go deep enough into the game, he should qualify for the win quality start possibly uh, he's a very talented young prospect who the Rays are um, letting come along slow uh, letting come along slowly but um, the potential is there for him to uh, really turn it on in the second half of the season so he might be someone you might want to jump on them and get now um, Queen Hume Kim very popular streamer for tomorrow's game against the, the Cubs he's um, looked really good over the, his last four starts, the last, let's say, three weeks, I guess, four starts in three weeks, because they pitch every pit day. Uh, so let's look and let's hope for that to continue tomorrow. I picked him up myself. And lastly, Andrew Haney of the Angels at the Twins. I know I did mention that the Twins are kind of looking better, kind of turning things around uh, with their hitting. Um, but Andrew Haney still is a, is a very good strikeout artist. And the Twins still, in my opinion, can't fully be trusted. So, even though either can Angels pitchers. But Andrew Haney is definitely a guy who has shown in the past that he can really, that when he's on, he's really on. And tomorrow, you know, you never really know, but tomorrow is shaped up to be um, one of those days for Haney where he should have a better than uh, bad day so that's the entirety of my video today I, i'm not going to keep it under 10 minutes because i'm going to go over here with this end in the video rambling but uh, it's relatively shorter than normal so i hope you guys will appreciate that um 
may do a video tomorrow, though I do plan on going to see my parents. Um, so, I mean, that will provide me an opportunity to film somewhere else other than this backdrop, uh, which is a goal of mine to film in more locations. But um, I don't know if I'm going to make time to do that. I kind of like to do this uh, when I'm alone. I kind of like to do this uh, without audience. I mean, I like people to watch the videos after I post it, but I don't really want people to like watch me film it. Um, I'm still not at that point in my, in my confidence with my, you know, delivery and, and stuff like that. Uh, but so that's why I don't do these live or anything or never did really do them live even when I was still using Facebook as my platform and so but yeah we'll see we'll see how I feel in 24 hours so but uh, have a blessed day good luck with you your fantasy matchups the rest of the week good luck with the season and um we'll start talk football here shortly I uh, will still do my NBA mock draft uh, because that is coming up in a week, actually. So I, I need to get on that here shortly. But um, I don't know what else to say. Thank you for your your views and your subscriptions. Um, you know, you can hit share. Share me with your friends. Um, you know, sharing is caring. So uh, peace, love, and nacho fries.